Hello, this is going to be a short little tutorial and walkthrough for anybody that is kind of intimidated to um, use the CLI wallet and you're on a Mac. This little guide is for you. So um, the reason that we need an extra tutorial for Mac users is because there's two extra steps that we have to do on a Mac to get around some of their quote unquote protections that they use. Um, basically when they, when we download apps from the internet, they don't let us open them. So shout out to Asylum for helping me figure this out when I first set up my CLI wallet. Um, of course there might be some discrepancies in this. I'm super beginner to the Daryl world. And if you are watching this and you find discrepancies, please let me know so I can update accordingly. Uh, much, much love. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click this link. It is in the description below, or if you're um, watching this on Telegram or something like that, I've attached a little um, PDF. So when you click this link, you're gonna get the latest version of this right here. It's called Darrow Darwin Universal. That one is for Mac. You're gonna click that and download it, and then I'm not sure if you have to extract it or not, but basically you're gonna get a little folder that looks like this. So you're gonna to wanna to open this up. You'll see all of these icons. None of them are going to open unless you do this step real quick. So once you open one, once you like approve it in your computer, it'll always be, um, you can always open it as well as its alias, but I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So let's say, for example, I have never pre-approved simulator.darwin. So if you double click it right away, it's going to say you, that your Mac won't let you open it. Now, if you know other ways to get your Mac to open it, then that's awesome. This is the super easiest way. You're going to click this open with terminal. It's going to give you this little option right here. You just simply click open. All right. And then once you have that, you are going to want to create an alias. So just basically right click on your CLI wallet and make an alias and then boom, it's going to look like this little guy right here. So once you get your alias, you're going to um, go down here and you're going to click new terminal app folder. And that is because we want to enter this command down here. Where are you command right here? Because when you're first starting out, um, I recommend that you do like you connect to the remote server just because it's like really confusing to do the other way. I personally still don't even do it. Okay, the instructions are super simple from here. You saw how quick and easy that was. So I'm going to minimize this. Um, yeah, from here, you're going to click open existing wallet if you already have one. But chances are, if you're watching this little tutorial, then you need to create your wallet. So go ahead and click number two. Boom. You're going to name your wallet. Now, don't confuse this with like the official naming service uh, that you can use after you set up your wallet. That one's different. This is uh, simply for your purposes. So you're going to name your wallet. Basically, if you have um, like if you're using web wallet and you have multiple wallets, this is the name that you're going to use to reference to yourself which wallet you're pulling up. Okay, so you give your thing. Then you want to give yourself a password, something that you remember, right? Because Darrow or nobody is going to be able to retrieve your password. Um, so English, right? If that's your language, then you're going to press zero for English or whatever else language that you need. And then right here, these are your seeds. Um, you guys probably already know this, but in case you don't, don't ever show these seeds to anybody. You can see mine right here because I'm literally never going to use this wallet ever so it doesn't matter but um don't save these in your computer don't like copy and paste them somewhere you're gonna want to write them down and i would write them down twice at least and stick them and hide them in different areas that you can access because should you ever lose your password you're gonna need these seeds to be able to um recover your account okay from here you're gonna notice that your account says unregistered so essentially, um, from here, you're going to want to click this little button over here for, and then you're going to register. Now this is going to take some time. Uh, for me, it took about maybe 20 minutes, but I've heard it take, you know, varying times. So once it's registered, this whole thing, I believe is green 
And I don't quote me on this, but I think that these two numbers will say the same thing. After your account is registered, you are able to send and receive Darrow. You can, um, you know, send and receive to other named addresses. You can use Darrow services and send little messages. Um, you can name your wallet with the official naming service, and you can connect to the RPC bridges that you know, like things like Lotto um, and a few other things are going to have on there. So. I hope that this has answered your questions. This is kind of the extent of my knowledge, so I recommend if you have more questions or something isn't working with this, um, check out the official Darrow Discord because those people in there are super, super knowledgeable and they really understand this stuff at deeper levels. So um, refer your questions to them, but I hope that you enjoyed this and that it's actually useful for you. And congratulations on being a part of Darrow. I think it's just like the coolest thing um, in regards to the future sovereignty of mankind and humanity. So yeah, um, congrats on your CLI wallet.